Hello everyone, welcome back to the Limit of Adhesion and Dom Silly Season. This is Race 4 coming to you from Road Atlanta. My name's Gareth and joining me once again in the commentary box is Dom and Jules. Gentlemen, how are you? How are you, so well, miss you. Good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so this race then it's the radicals versus the skip barber we are expecting how many laps uh, how many times for the uh, radical to lap the skippy similar Don't. to the three versus v about any three or four laps i think excellent stuff and we can see that the uh, yeah the the usual wiggly bit at the start of the lap will be extreme difficult then for that lapping to take place let's take a look at the grid then I think we go one better before that. We've got Championship Order. Ah, Championship Order, very important. Yeah, Oliver Walker now on top of the standings with Patrick Ricky in second place. Stephen Greening in third after his win in the Master MX-5. And then we've got Fuelgrave, Crichton, Messenger, Kelly, Parker and Winslade. And Tom Larin, Mr. Ramathon himself, rounding out the top ten. And he was on a ramming mission and a half at Bathurst, wasn't he not? He absolutely was. I think he'd watched uh, Winslade in the VW Beetle and thought, oh, I could try some of that as well. Yeah, and I think he topped him in terms of the amount of cars he actually took <laughs> out in that race. Especially cost I mean, value of the damage caused. Yeah, and we saw a number of uh, collisions between the QRS boys. And um, Is there a link then between the, the MX-5 collisions that we saw and the announcement that malara has been fired from the QRS <laughs> team? <laughs> Completely unrelated, I'm sure. Just as yeah. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so let's take a look at the grid then. So Stephen Greening on pole position from Ollie Ettridge. And they're both in the radicals. Obviously, Reese Crichton in third and Michael Mester in fourth. So they've got a risky racing. One, two, three, four on the grid. Don Parker in fifth. Fuelgrave in sixth. Merrin Hoogov in seventh. Then Ollie Walker in eighth. Chris White in ninth. Tenth is Winslade. Then eleventh is Roberto Costa at twelfth. Mitchell Day. So that's all of the radicals. Patrick Ricky on pole position for the Skip Barbers ahead of David Lyon Nick Lee Nathan Parker Sam Stock Chris Forrester Graham Bardsley Gavin Kelly Tom Lauren and Shane Abbott surprising to see Kelly so far down the order from in the Skippies I think it would he have helped a... if it set a time that's the thing ah uh, no time there. oh yeah like <laughs> yeah Bardsley so. Mullaren Abbott and Kelly didn't set a time well that really is surprising because uh, yeah Kelly was one of the championship contenders when we were racing the Skippy all the way back in season 2 here they are on the grid then oh Kenwood livery love a Kenwood livery cars all ready to rock then here's the red lights we're going Georgia and it's a very quick start then from Chris Greening Chris Greening that's, that's a new worst right. new driver on the grid <laughs> Oh, I'm getting myself confused Steve from time Green to time. Ollie Ettridge yeah. has dropped down massively from... Uh, was Ollie Ettridge pole? Uh, second. He's not now, that's for group. sure. No, it's Reese Crichton is up into second place. Don Parker from fifth on the grid up to fifth, uh, third then. Here they come through the wiggly bits. And Winslow's dropped down. Look, he's now only in 11th place. Is that... That's not Jim. He's not back, is he? I saw Jim's livery. His radical livery, Hooters. Yes. We'll have to let <laughs> him know. <laughs> yeah, nice to see that. It's like a blast from the past, isn't it? Yeah, Before and the, of course the, the purple skip there of uh, Keith Chegwin Memorial Team. Yeah, that's amazing to see that back on the grid. No, this is the... Uh, yeah, before Jim went into the Alpha Blobby Team. And uh, Mr Blobby made his first appearance in the LOA. Well, we've got some side-by-side -side action into the chicane then. Merrin Hoogovin in the Martini livery car. And he's battling with Ollie Ettridge, who's just gotten past him again. But here come the skippies. Just while we were watching Messenger, I saw Nath Parker dropped a long way down the order in the uh, skippy class there. He's running in last now six seconds off the pack. Oh, he must have had an incident then. Wow, Patrick Ojeriki just being passed there by Nick Lee into the chicane. Line running P3, Sam Stott running P4. Another strong start for Stott then. We saw him uh, absolutely excelling in the F3 until that little pit stop schmozzle. Yes indeed, yeah. So already a sizeable gap opening up between the two classes as you would expect. 
Field Grape is under attack from Messenger in the Hooters machine. And Lions lining it up on Nick Lee. And that's Stock going side by side with him. Oh, this isn't a section of track I'd like to be side by side with another car. It's very Me tight neither. through here. Yeah. Oh, and the bells oh. roll around. Contact is made, and that's. Oh, who's that just got and clipped? Malaren, was it? Clipped. Oh, no. Unfortunate there. So, Stott and Line clipping together after Line bounced over the curb. Meanwhile, then, Mitchell Day running P12 in the Radicals. And that's Hugovin then just recovering. He must have had an incident because he was much further up the order. Was he yeah, there must have been something happened to Hugovin there. For the, again, they're both three seconds off the back of the pack now, so you suggest a spin of some, or an incident of some description has happened. Yeah. Here's Andrus Fuelgrad then from Team Blackpink. No, it's him running the Hooters, is it? Yes, I'm just in the Hooters livery today. You can yeah. see on the map how uh, the rate sort of the yellow radicals coming around to catch the blue blobs of the skippies. Yeah. Look at this then, Gavin Kelly up to P4 and attacking Graham Bardsley just ahead of him. He's got a great run out of the chicane in as well. Going to the inside through the final corner. It is flat through here, but I don't really know if I've ever seen two cars side by side through there. Well, a wheel on the dirt for Graham Bardsley. And this that promoted Kelly into the podium places. It has. So from the second to last row on the grid, all the way up into P3 in the skippies for Kelly. Absolutely. Well, a Slow and steady uh, is proven beneficial for Kelly. Really is, yeah. So Ollie Walker on the back of Andrew's fuel grave, and they are both fighting with Michael Messenger. Lying in the pits after that contact. Uh, that's a big shame. I was expecting some uh, exciting stuff from Mr. Lyon, who was our Season 2 Skip Barber champion. He's not having the best silly season, is he? No, he's really not. He was uh, like, killed by Winslade at Okiyama, uh, and by Kelly at uh, Barhurst, and by Stott here. Has he had a good race yet? Uh, oh, no, he was all in the beat. He got a decent he? beat, yeah. Yeah, he got a podium, didn't he? We're on board with Dom Parker then. Currently running P3 from 5th on the grid. Yeah, trying his best to cling on to the risky racing boys, I'd imagine. Yeah, see nice to see screaming he's... Screaming past a skippy. <laughs> and I see he's added some LOA decals to his radical. Interesting to listen so, going towards the braking zone here. Killing the engine. Bit of fuel save going on. Yeah. Total clutch down. So the... Uh, the absolute sadist that created this event has maybe made the Radicals just a little bit short on fuel for the duration. Well, we know you're the sadist. <laughs> Absolutely, and by maybe I mean I definitely did make the fuel too short for the Radicals. So if the drivers had any chance to practice through the week, if they've done a race run, they'll know this. And if not, then uh, we might see a few of them having a few problems through the race. Let's that see what back happens. past Kelly as they get caught by all the Radicals. Oh, and two of them, that stopped going round, isn't it? And was it Malarin that hit him again? <laughs> yeah, I would say that's what just happened. <laughs> Absolute scenes then between the now ex-QRS teammates. No love lost there. Clearly not. Winslow's just gained a position on Chris White. Those two always seem to be running similar sort of pace. Here's Malarin. though. Yeah, I can say Malarin getting absolutely mobbed by three radicals at the same time, just uh, coming down the. Uh, I don't know. It, would that be the back straight? It's like a third straight, isn't it, around this track? It is. Yeah. Now I know you weren't a massive fan of this track previously. Have you? Uh, has it grown on you at all? I tell you what, it is. I I do like the challenge of it, but it's just like they got a bit bored after the, uh, <laughs> the first wiggly section, and then they just put a bit of an oval on it. And then it gets sort of interesting at the end of the lap again, so... Actually, I did have a go on... I don't know if you've ever tried Road Atlanta Short, but that is quite good fun. I uh, did attempt it one time. I did a few practice sessions in the skippy and found I was massively off the pace, so Rage quit and drove something else instead. <laughs> yeah, I tried it in the... Uh, um, what do you call it? The Spec Racer. 
But yeah, just as they get to that corner onto that third straight, they swing right into a long, long right-hander and just joins up to the end of the long straight before the chicane. No, it's a really good little track. Actually, it's quite fun. Meanwhile, then, Patrick Oteriki back in the lead of the Skip Barbers, as you would expect, because he is, as you've mentioned before, Dom, a bit of a Skippy specialist. Absolutely, he is Mr. Skippy. If you've not uh, checked out or heard of Patrick's YouTube channel, he's under Simple Sim Guy, and I think at his peak he was 3.4k uh, I rating from racing exclusively Skippy, so he certainly knows his way around one. That's pretty amazing stuff, actually, and uh, yeah, the, I mean, the Skippy is so unforgiving on cold tyres, and we do see a number of incidents in the early opening exchanges in those races. See Here's Winslade Hoogerman. being oh. yeah, pursued by Hoogervin, trying to make a, a bit of a recovery after what we think was a spin early on. Yeah. Now we know Merrin's a very rapid driver. So I wonder if Winslade's going to make this a bit easy for him and just focus on his race. We'll Action never know. cuts away. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Shane Abbott then. And he's in that purple and black car following on from his purple and black MX-5. And he's chasing Nathan Parker then, who had that early incident. Winslade holding on for now. Yeah. It's good to see the yeah. old liveries from season one back. Yeah. Yeah, it is indeed. The orange crush there. Uh, the orange car of Rad, uh, the Radical of uh, Winslade, the Hooters, and then I saw the Martini that Will Burnett favoured as well, didn't he? Yeah, he did, yeah. Now being driven by Hoogerman. Yeah, Gary Jones made that one, orange crush one for Winslade, based on a, a slot car that he races. Actually, a prop, and a, it's a number 83 NASCAR as well. Hence the number. Who was number this 83 one. NASCAR? I can't remember the driver's name. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's one for Jason Weaver or Jake, I guess. Or one of the Can other old uh, Reese Crichton's uh, livery there reminds me of the uh, old livery from uh, Tony. Do you remember that kind of oh, the, that horrible, Texas. weird camouflage? Yes. We weren't quite sure what had gone wrong there. <laughs> when we did the Texas Rover yes. my goodness me that was a, a bit of a fugger fugly car <laughs> Don Parker slipped down to P4 then behind Ollie Ettridge who's uh, on mission recovery new fastest left throw to Ricky yeah and look at that there's a sizeable difference between him and Nick Lee and we know Nick is no slouch As these guys scythe past Shane in his skippy. And then there's Messenger and Fuel Grave. Walker having a bit of a slower show in this time out in fifth in the Radical. Mostly he's coming yeah. to this one very high up the championship order. Was he a P1 in fact going into this one with Patrick just behind he, him? Yeah, he is indeed, yeah. Look at that That's bullying. That's pretty horrendous. <laughs> Get out of the way, Skippy. <laughs> oh, <That's, laughs> sorry for them. That's quite mean, actually, yeah. So that's Nathan Parker then. Oh, that's. Uh, wow, Mary Hoogman round again. Gets it back going the right way. But we know this radical is quite prone to a, a bit of damage, especially on the front quarter. So that's Holly Walker getting a bit wrong there. Yeah, a big twitch coming out of that uh, second yeah. of the right-handers there. Yeah, yeah it just dropped him down the seventh. Mm. So the two leading championship protagonists going into this one, one of them is P1 in class and the other's way down in P7, did you say there? Yeah. I wish whoever directs it, these would uh, sort those numbers out. I have a real hard time reading the, the white writing on the yellow background. <laughs> Greening had done oh no look at that Sam Stott round and he's is he in the pit wall couldn't quite see it's Forrester Chris in fact oh it is Forrester I beg your pardon they're both running black and white cars caught me out yeah just uh, so I went spearing across the track in front of this group of radicals here dived into the pit lane <laughs> a 
maybe made the most most of a bad situation. The skippies definitely do need to pit once in this race. Yeah, so Chris Forrester then, currently in P9. Line has given up. Early bar for him. That's a big shame, though, because as I say, I was expecting him to be a real contender in this race. It's a more fuel saving from Parker, literally every single corner. Yeah. So he's currently chasing Etridge and Crichton, who are locked in battle for P2 in this race. I'm just looking Steven at Green uh, slam from. Brighton's livery there. I think it's, is it the Nicolas Cage face that he's got on the front of his car? I'm trying to see what it is. It yeah, I think it is the Nicolas Cage livery that uh, sometimes <laughs> pops up around eye racing. Oh, that's going to give me nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, is that Hoogman Hoogman's again? round again? Collected by Parker, I think, was that? Yeah, I think that is Nathan Parker in the uh, BAR livery. Oh, look at that, fuel grape. Yeah, fuel I'm just grape recovering from a spin, it looks like. They're all falling off the track. They are, indeed. I mean, this Radical, it's an amazing car to drive, but it's, uh, it, it, it's very prone to a spin, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to respect it, definitely. Yeah. It still lures you into a false sense of security, I find. Just when you yeah. think you've tamed it and you've uh, got a nice, happy relationship with it, it'll just slap you around the face and kick you off the track. Yeah. <laughs> and steal your lunch money as well. Yeah, absolutely. Crazy that we started with this car. I mean, you think of all the cars that we could have sort of eased <laughs> our way into eye racing with. No, let's just take the Radical, the fastest lunatic car we can possibly find. And that was the two check checklist wasn't it uh, is it fast is it free yeah oh we see some car repairs going on in the pit lane oh, it looks like Chris Forrester out of his car and Hoogavin coming in for a pit stop I think it must be the most fun f uh, free car though I can't think of anything that rivals it I'd say the caddy's a little bit close true yeah. True. I cannot remember the process on picking it, to be honest. Down, well, I think it was just downforce and speed, probably. We wanted something rapid and close to an open wheeler. A little Cadillac <laughs> Championship could be fun. A yeah. Short, short blast yeah. season. Makes yes, note for silly season two. <laughs> I think I've, I love the caddy actually I've, only, I've driven it a few times now um, especially with Mr Crichton's hill climb challenge that was really difficult actually After going that, up the mountain in the bin <laughs> oh if you try, drive it on a real track Jules it's absolutely no, amazing no driving it up the hill has is, is ruined it I can't drive it again it's <laughs> disgusting <laughs> Speaking of the caddy, of course, in the public series that runs around, uh, sorry, against the Kia, which is the car of choice for the next round. What's your thoughts about the Kia as well, Gareth? I don't like it. Oh, I thought it was a favourite of yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's an unpopular opinion there, obviously. Yes, it <laughs> understeers like an absolute mare. And uh, no, it's just not very nice. Oh, Shane getting it wrong in T1, gets uh, it back uh, on the road. It wasn't wrong, it was just a bit of rally cross, it's fine. Yeah, no, I, do, I just find it a bit unpleasant to drive because, I mean, I thought it'd be quite fun with the just ridiculousness of the wheel spin going on in one and two, first and second gear with front-wheel drive, but, no, nah, I don't know, it just doesn't feel that exciting or entertaining. And the steering feels very light, actually. Yeah, it's an absolute beast of a car. I'm excited to see, because it's a standing start as well next time out, so I'm excited to see how uh, how the guys get them off the line. We're not going to see anything. It's just going to nope. be a cloud of smoke <laughs> and then a couple of naff keys come out of it. Well, we'll wait and see. Stephen Greening then running down to the chicane in the lead. And Ollie Etridge has taken a couple of seconds out of him. Yeah, it doesn't seem like any fuel saving going on uh, at the front with these guys. It's Chris no. White ducks out of the way there. So, a lap being put on Chris White. Patrick in Leading the pits. Skippy in the pits. Here we go then. It promotes Nick Lee up into the lead. Graham Barsley coming in from P3. Is Cobra Kai livery there? Kelly That's going nice. for an extra lap. And greening off the road. That's wow, greening from the good. lead, isn't it? It is and indeed. Crichton followed Good's him as well. There. 
Etridge into the lead of this race then. Crichton's now up into second. Don Parker trying to attack Stephen Greening. Well, that's very un-Greening to, uh, to see a mistake like that, running him out of the lead. wonder what's happened. Yeah. Is that really Nick Cage's face? I think it may be. I do think it, it might be. It looks like a cross between an owl and a bum. <laughs> <laughs> So Nick Lee in the lead in the skippies with Gavin Kelly up to P2 in his Planet Express car. <laughs> Shane Abbott now in P3. Uh, Patrick Cage Ricky as he rejoined the race now in P4 following his pit stop. So we wait to see what happens when the others now come in. Oh, Big luck up for Mitchell there. Yeah. Huge luck up. I wasn't sure if the engine had gone then. Just trying to figure out what's actually happening on the screen. Obviously, the messengers behind these guys, so he's coming to put a lap up on them. Yeah. And then Mitch and Chris White are fighting oh, for position. There. Oh, Chris White just pitching Mitchell round. And you can see the way the, the rear end of this car does like to crumple up with the slightest bit of contact. Fighting in quite a, a literal kind of way. The gloves are off there. Full contact. Body check. Yeah. Don Parker still furiously full fuel saving as he comes down to this double right hander and that first corner of those two is so quick it really takes you by surprise just how fast that first one is yeah quite deceptive the pair of them I uh, I remember your first synopsis of this track and it was oh yeah to get down down the straight two boring right handers onto another straight but actually I think there's uh, there's kind of a beauty in the fact that both those two right handers are very different like you say the first one quite fast and then the second one quite heavy on the brakes very low gear important yeah. to try and get the drive out of that corner although it's, it's amazing how many times a day that, that corner you end up being blinded by the sun yes Kelly rejoining from his pit stop then now in fourth place yeah he'd got ahead uh, of Bardsley before the pit stops hadn't he we saw him sweep past him. I think I saw one. Bardsley repass him on the timing screen. We didn't see it. Right. Oh, um, he's getting yeah. very close with the radicals. Radicals just shoving their way through. This is abusive stuff. Oh no! Graham's gone round. Couldn't take the bullying from the radicals. I mean, that was pretty harsh stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just coming up. Like 20 minutes left uh, 20 minutes gone of our 30 minute race but you know that's why the cars were picked so one would bully the other yeah and the drivers are obliging <laughs> they really are yeah so we know the Kia Optima then for race 5 of Silly Season what about the car pairing for race 6 Dom so the final race as well will be uh, the Battle of the Ollies so we've got Ollie Walker and Ollie Etridge in the league so for bragging rights of who is the best Ollie, we're doing a bit of a team event. So they've uh, they've picked picked teams out of the guys in the championship, and out of those teams, the guys have then picked whether they want to drive the LMP2 or the GT4, and they've got the cho choice of the three GT4s, three GT4s or four GT4s. Um, no, just the Beamer, the Porsche, and the um, McLaren. McLaren, yeah. Um, so yeah, GT4 versus LMP2 and Gary Richards with special uh, discompensation, is it? Dis what's, what's the word? Dispensation? Anyway, dispensation, something yeah. like that. Well anyway. done, He's in the TCR, it seems, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a couple of couple of seconds slower by my, from my test, brief testing in those cars, but yeah, at least he can race and be in the event and pick up a few places from... The well, certain deaths that are bound to come. Surely he's the target, so you get a point every time you tap him. <laughs> 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 well, Greening just diving past Reese Crichton then as they head to the chicane. Back up into second place. You see, it looks like oh, I was making in the, the front move. There. Yeah. Oops. Oh, Randy goes. Well, Greening's just made a mistake in the chicane. He came from a long way back there to try and put the move on. Was it Stott in the skippy there? Well, he was fighting side by side with Crichton as well, so it was all getting a bit confusing. Yeah, it looked like one of the moves where Greening sort of felt like he had to make the move there and then, but maybe carried a little bit too much speed in and had a classic radical spin on the brakes. Yeah. 
And I have to say, I mean, if you race in VR in a skippy against other cars, you do feel awfully exposed. <laughs> I bet it's terrifying. <laughs> it can be, yeah. I mean, even the F3s look big against this little beastie. And yet it's so much heavier than the uh, than the F3 and the Formula Renault 2.0 and stuff. It, it's just, it's a bit of a, an overweight little car because of that tubular steel chassis it's got. Looking here, look at, uh, you got Chilmararing in fourth place. In that's yeah. after being r- repeatedly smacked by Sam, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, he's he managed to recover yeah, back on screen. To be fighting with oh, he's Fred oh, he's <laughs> oh, he's he's smacked smacked again. someone else. <laughs> no, that's him. That's that's him attacking Bartley. He's just completely wrecked Bartley's car and taking the rear wing off. And for the last five minutes, I've not seen a Skippy on screen that hasn't got a wing or some form of damage on the car. Bards is completely missing his rear wing. Malarin's completely missing his front wing. Yeah, but that's because Malarin just drove up the back of Bar- <laughs> uh, Bardsley and took it off him. Oh, man. I mean, the good news is that the wings aren't that important on the Skippy. The bad news is, though, that if he's got the exhaust pipe, then Graham's going to really struggle with a loss of tr- uh, straight line speed. We'll find remember, out. It looks um, like they're going to side by side down the actual back straight here. Yeah. I mean, Jules, you remember when uh, William Bibby clipped uh, James Garlick at Suzuka and uh, just caused that little bit loss yeah, of top line speed? Yeah, the exhaust pipe and then you got less power. Yeah. Remember the, the drive shafts, uh, so the, the axles are quite weak on them as well. Yes, the they back. are, the drive shafts. <laughs> <laughs> And it's nice that the driver carries like a, a four pints of milk on the back as well. Yeah, yeah. You need, you're shopping in it. Yeah. It's just nice to have a little shopping container. You know, I wish the F3s had it. You can stop <laughs> and get your groceries. Oh, look, there's a radical in the pit lane. And it's, it's Ollie Etridge. Wow, from the lead of this race. So he's obviously run out of motion lotion. So he would be <laughs> the first victim of this trap. Yes. Dom, your uh, your evil plan is starting to bear fruit. I have victims. <laughs> 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 so, Reese Crichton now inherits the lead of this race from Dom Parker. Stephen Greening still running in P3. Ollie Walker's in then. Still in the Rumble B Radical. Bardsley well, hasn't given up against Parker. No. Wow, no. That's, you don't get an off-track doing that, but it is bumpy as heck going out there. Here comes Greening then in the Kenwood car. Ollie Ettridge has rejoined in P4 then, just ahead of Andrews Fuelgrade, who has yet to stop. Looks like Messenger in the pits as well. Now back out on track. Just under five minutes left of this race then. Here comes Bardsley. No mercy. Attacking Nathan Parker for P5 in the Skippies. And no mercy indeed. He's, I think Tor should have no mercy on his car. <laughs> He's been an absolute brute. Oh, last of the late breakers for Graham. Massive oh. lockup. Oh, and there's the inevitable collision. Big shame. A second and third in the Radicals also now into the pit lane. Wow, yeah. So Crichton and Greening in. And uh, Nathan's front wing has now gone. I mean, it's a silly little tea tray thing on the uh, skippy. Completely pointless bit of metal. Yeah, it's only about the weight of it. Like, it's so heavy, I don't think the wings do anything on this car anyway. Well, as Bardsley's proven. Yeah. No, it's just for aesthetics. Certainly the front wing. I, I imagine the back wing does a tiny bit, but... Certainly doesn't on cold tyres at the start. No, nothing does. <laughs> <laughs> Hopes and prayers, maybe. <laughs> Hopes and prayers followed by thoughts and prayers after the inevitable <laughs> four-car pile-up. Sound like a sip of something delicious you just had there? Oh, I had a cough, yeah. I needed something to wet my whistle. So, let's take a look at the order then. Don Parker in the lead of the Radicals and without stopping so far Ollie Ettridge in second Andrus Fieldgrave in third and yet to stop Rhys Crichton's in fourth Messenger's in fifth and then we've got Stephen Greening now down in sixth place 
Ollie Walker in seventh, Winslade in eighth, and yet to stop. Chris White has stopped, and as has Roberto Costa and Mitchell Day. I think all of those guys are about a lap down now. Oh, Fuel Grove now into the pits and making very twitchy on the way meal of it. <laughs> yeah. It is a particularly difficult pit entry as Road Atlanta, in fact. I know um, I was doing some practicing for Petit Le Mans last year and the race never actually happened for us, but uh, yeah, managed to make a mess of the pit entry a lot of times in practice. Wow. Yeah, no, it's a, I mean, it's a weird humpy corner as well, that last corner, because, you know, it's blind as you go over the crest under the bridge and then all of a sudden the track falls away and you've got to spot where their turning point is. No, let's take a look at the running order for the Skip Barbers then. Patrick Ricky in the lead as we anticipated. Nick Lee running in second. Gavin Kelly in third. Then we've got Tor Malarin, the absolute murderer that he is, is in fourth place. Nathan Parker in fifth. And then we've got Shane Abbott in sixth place. Sam Stott in seventh. Graham Barsley now in the pits and out of this race. Very sad to see that. Merrin Hoogvin also is out in the... Uh, in the Radicals and then we got Chris Forrester and David Lyon an early bath for him sure dangerous on the uh, chessboard as well it seems who Jules sure oh tour now is he really oh yeah Mm. one to watch out for so why has there why why is there a new craze of chess sweeping the discord it's of the hour? because play wanted to play chess and I said sure fine and then like he just he wants to play more than me and he's better than me so I'm distracting him with some others and it seems that quite a few other way play, people play chess I seem to think you started it though I, I can't remember how it came about I found out that you played and then yeah I don't know then you offer you whatever <laughs> so the upshot is now that there's a chess channel well yeah. if you like watching the LOA racing and you also enjoy chess then this is definitely the discord <laughs> for you <laughs> keep an eye out for the link at the end oh, of the video or in the uh, description down below maybe we should start well. doing some chess live streams as well there's a massive target audience for that but, yeah you probably have to get I think I've got quite enough to do already (laughs) (laughs) taking that on as well so into the 30th minute of the race then and And everybody apart from Parker and Winslade yeah stopped Mitchell Day hasn't stopped either but he's uh, he's quite a long way down I hadn't looked that far down yeah I think he's a I think he's a lap or so down now, so he's, he can probably get to the end on that tank of fuel. I'm fairly sure Mitch had never drew, driven this car before, so he's done a great job to uh, to last the 30 minutes in it. No, he has. He did. Uh, he. I've joined him with a bit of radical fun on New Year's Eve yeah. at Donington. In which case, I stand corrected. He murdered the leader as he was getting <laughs> lapped, and uh, <laughs> I, I got, uh, I had a little spin of my own, and then. Um, yeah, someone caused me an issue and I, uh, I ran out the back of him coming out of the National Chicane. <laughs> Complete coincidence, I'm sure. Oh, no, no. I just forced <laughs> him into an error, and then, uh, but he just didn't move. It was ridiculous. Is that wind slayed oh, fuel at the top of the hill? <laughs> yeah. Here we are, then. Don Parker making the no pit stop strategy work for him, then he's come home a long way clear of everybody else in the Radicals, then. Got a bit of a while to wait then for Ollie Ettridge to come home in P2. There he goes. So Don Parker winning from Ollie Ettridge in second. And Reese Chrysan coming home in P3. A look at Winslade crawling towards the line. Will he get over the line and get the classification in seventh place? We wait to see. Michael Messenger coming home P4. Steve Greening coming home P5 with a new fastest lap, 114.8. That is rapid. Looks like it. He's there. Yeah. Winslow's over the line there. Yeah, he <laughs> just got the shaker yeah, flag. A 2.23 <laughs> rapid lap. Ollie Walker coming home P6 then. Winslow coming home P7. Chris White in 8th. And then Roberto Costa in 9th. Fuelgrave out of the race in 10th. Mitchell Day coming home in 11th on board. Completely with dead stick. Yeah. And here comes Patrick Otoriki then for his first LOA victory. Congratulations to him. That was a 
fantastic drive. Just uh, decimated the field, look. A massive gap. Absolutely yeah. massive gap. Go and have a cup of tea while he waits for a second mm. to cross the line. Really is, yeah. Here comes Nick Lee then in Although second place. Sorry, he lost his wing. I wonder when that happened. <laughs> Great drive from Nick, though. Here comes uh, the Planet Express of Gavin Kelly in P3. And the Assassin in fourth. And the Assassin in fourth. <laughs> so, some race highlights then. That's Parker with an early spin. Into the pit lane. Cheeky stuff. Chris Forrester in the Claret, getting it wrong. Oh, big one there. Couldn't quite keep it on the road for that one. And then this was the unfortunate bounce between Sam Stott and David Lyne. Yeah, it was an unfortunate one as well. It uh, looked like they left in each other enough space. I think Lyne just Yeah, it was just the bounce curve, off the curb, yeah. yeah. Nice to see he's still sponsored by the Topic. <laughs> Can you still buy those in shops? I'm not, I feel like I've not seen one for ages. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Chris Forrester then, a second error. That was at turn one. This is at turn two. And for the triple. Get slow down for that one. <laughs> Three wide serious bullying, bullying going on. And that resulted in a bit of a crash for the Skippies. It's a very broken one. So it's Chris White who's bullying all the skippies going through the wiggly bit. Whoa. And then he has a big one into the barriers himself. Here comes Mr. Forrester once again. I wish you could turn uh, slowdowns off because this would be a great track for the next VW Beetle corner cut race. Yeah, that'd be cool. You're just straight line from like turn one all the way down to the bottom of the hill at turn five. Yeah. Oh, round goes Merrin. Oh, it turns into a billboard. <laughs> yeah, and reappears with a very bent uh, radical. Chris Forrester on the final corner. We saw this one in the, in live in the race. Look at that. He slots it onto the pit lane quite nicely. He might have got an unsafe pit entry for that as well, you know. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. I think if you don't commit to the line very early on, if you cut across like that, it gives you a... <laughs> Mitch with a simple <laughs> spin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fancy seeing you oh. here, sir. After you. No, no, after you. After Parker and Hoogavin getting together then. Skippy and Radical. <laughs> just bullying Parker off the road. Yeah, he just scared him off the track there, didn't he? Didn't want to get enveloped in uh, Andres's ample hooters. <laughs> <laughs> Merrin having another spin before he gave up on it. Here's Tor. Big sideways action through T1. He's stolen Kelly's livery from last round. Yeah, he has. The graffiti. Yeah. Oh, this is oh. greening out of the lead. That's what it all yes. went wrong for him. So caught up behind. I think that's Nicola Lee, isn't it, in the skippy? It is Nick Lee. Yeah, I'm glad he didn't take him out, though. That would have been uh, awful to see. Hoogavin again. And again. I wonder which is the one that made him go for a, an early retirement. I mean, Merrin's done one of our uh, Radical ah. Hot Lab videos before. That would be that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's no slouch in this car. Oh, that was that one we saw between Mitchell Day and Chris White, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Pitching up. Oh, Winslow getting it horrendously wrong out of the final <laughs> corner. Alternate line. Just like I said about the Whoa. blind bit on that corner, yeah. Is that a steering wheel disconnect or something? Not sure, but he's gone to the... That's an alternate... Tra is it an alternate track or an it's alternate pit lane? It's not one you can race. Um, I don't know. I've never... I've tried the different layouts here, and there's only the short or the long course, so I don't know yeah. if and when that ever got used in real life. I might have to go and have a little read up on that because it's all, I, I keep seeing it on the uh, the overheads and it's always interesting to see because it goes around the back of the building and then rejoins at T1. Hmm, yeah. Costa having a little spin. Oh, 
nearly took the leader out. <laughs> yeah, that was brutal. Not what you want to see at all. So there was a bit of radical uh, and skippy bullying. Whoa! Way. <laughs> Messenger pushing Malarin far off the road there. Oh, you see, that's yeah, that that's just crazy. <laughs> that's just abuse. Oh, they're yeah. fighting back there. Yeah, and just getting what he deserved though. That must have been after the flag, was it? Not sure. Oh, oh, this is <laughs> <laughs> definitely post flag. And here comes Kelly, seeing how fast he can get over the dirt, and the answer is pretty rapidly. Also missing the front wing, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be careful, Layla would Leela would not like the way he's wrecked her ship. So Dom Parker wins the radicals from Ollie Ettridge and Reese Crichton in third place. Michael Messenger, then Greening, Walker, Fuelgrave, Winslade White, Costa Mitchell Day in eleventh. Patrick to Ricky wins for the skip Barbus ahead of Nick Lee and Gavin Kelly. Tom Lauren, Nathan Parker, Shane Abbott, and Sam Stott in 18th place. And then we had Bardsley, Hugovin, Forrester, and Line, all early retirements from incidents in the race. Let's take a look and see what that's done to the championship standings then. I think the director must have fallen asleep here. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Dom's actual face? So, Patrick no, you, don't, you, you don't need to see that. <laughs> Patrick takes the top of the standings then from Molly Walker, Stephen Greening still in third place. Dom Parker up considerably into fourth place. Reese Crichton stays in fifth. And Kelly up to sixth place. And then Messenger, Fuelgrave, Nick Lee, Tom Lauren, Winslade. And then Graham Barsley, Sam Stott, Ollie Etridge, Shane Abbott, David Lyon, Chris White and Nathan Parker in 18th place. So still a few drivers in contention for the championship then. And as we look further down, we can see Nathan Parker, Marin Hugovin, Chris Forrester, Stephen Cakebread, Mitchell Day, Roberta Costa, Gary Richards, Steve Koenig, Jason Weaver and A.D. King bringing up the last position. 27 drivers so far in the championship. Not bad going. Yeah, absolutely. Been uh, a lot of drivers turning out for this one. Well, what else are they going to do? Play chess? <laughs> no! Stop promoting chess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chess. 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 And here is a very aborted donut. Yep. Yeah. He's not going to make it. Boom! Oh, look, he's got a chessboard on the back of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> So, don't forget you can find us at thelimitofatesion.com, facebook.com slash limitofatesion. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos and come say hi on Discord. Bye, guys. Ciao. Cheers.